This is the sixth tutorial for Python. This time we'll be creating a guest and number program through which we'll learn about the random module on Python. Alright, so all Python programs can call a basic set of functions, which are called built-in functions. And this includes the print, len, so the length, and input functions that we've already used before. But Python also comes with a set of modules called the standard library. Each module is a Python program that contains a related group of functions that can be embedded in your programs. For example, the math module has math-related functions, and the random module has random number-related functions, and so on. But before you can actually use the functions in a module, you must import the module with an import statement. So in the code, the import statement should consist of the uh, import keyword and the name of the module. If you wish to import multiple modules, you can add the names of those modules as well, as long as they are all separated by commas. So in this video, we're going to be experimenting with the random module. So here's a sample program that I've created. We've already learned the um, for loop, so I'm not going to explain that. But just to recap, it's almost like telling the computer to repeat the following code um, a certain number of times. And in this case, that certain number of times is 5. Right, um, so we can look at the rest of it for now. So basically, obviously, first I've already imported the random module, right? Then after the for, um, after the I've um, given the for loop, I've said um, print, and in the parentheses it says random dot rand int. Now this is the function that becomes available only when you import the random module. So what this function does is it will randomly select a number and print it. Now you see the 1 comma 10 in these parentheses? Well that is the range. This means that the computer will only select a random number from 1 to 10. Nothing more or nothing less. So let's run the program now. Oops, I forgot. There we go. Yeah. So um, basically it printed five different numbers because over here, if you can see, we've said in range five. So five times it's going to print a number. And um, it's printed five different numbers. And as you can see, all of these numbers are between one and ten. One and ten are inclusive in this case. And basically, that's what it do that's what it's done. And you can run the program no multiple times to see if it really does give you something more or less than ten and one. But usually, and th that actually, it's practically impossible to happen because we've given a range, and Python won't give you a number that's higher or lower, right? Okay. So I hope that this gives you some clarity and understanding as to what the random module is. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to use it in a fun program. So before I start coding it, I kind of want you guys to think about it, right? So I want you to think about the functions required and how it's going to look. And maybe even start doing it yourself um, and, then, and then continue watching the video, right? So let me explain to you what it's going to do and then you can pause the video. So listen carefully because I might give you some hints. Okay, so what the program is going to do is it's going to select a random number and then ask the audience to guess which one it is. If the audience's guess is greater than the chosen number, the program should say your number is too high. Else, if the guess is lesser than the number, it should say your number is too low. However, the audience will only be given six guesses. After the audience guesses for the sixth time, the loop must end. So if the audience gets the answer right, the program should say good job plus the number of tries taken to get it right. Else, it should say nope, the number I was thinking of was and then plus the secret number or the chosen number, right? Okay, so hopefully you guys have taken a moment to think about it. Um, so I'm just going to start coding right now. Yeah, so the first thing um, we want to do is obviously we want to create a new file. Put that there. Right. Now, what we want to do first is we want to obviously import the random module. So let's put that down. Import random. Okay. Um, now it's important. Uh, right. So next what I said was that we wanted the program to select a random number, right? Now it's important to remember that this number should be stored within the program. So to do this, 
we create a variable, right? So let's call it secret number, right? Now in this, we store the random integer between let's say one and 20, right? So I can say random dot int one 20, okay? Then um, what we want is we want the program to tell the audience that I am thinking of a number between 1 and 20. So I'm just going to say print. Oops. Yeah. So we say print. I am thinking of a number between 1 and 20. Let's say, can you guess it? All right. Um, so right after this, we start the for loop, because if you recall, the for loop allows us to repeat the code a certain number of times. Here, we wanted to repeat specifically six times. So what we say is we say, um, for guesses taken in range four, in range six, sorry, and then we put the colon. Right? Um, and then next we say print take a guess, which tells the audience that it's now time to take a guess. Right? Um, and then we create a variable wh which is called guess. And then here we put input um, because they have to input their guess. Right? Um, okay. So also, if you remember from the previous videos, I said that an input function would automatically store the input as a string. But over here, what we need is we need this input to be an integer. So like we've already learned, we need to convert the input to an integer by putting it outside the parentheses. So we put input, and over here, we put int. All right? Um, right. So after this, um, the next thing that we want to do is we want to say that if the audience's guess is greater than the chosen number, the program should say your number is too high. Else, if the guess is lesser than the number, it should say your number is too low. So this is almost literally what we type in, right? We say, um, what we say is if guess is greater than secret number print your guess is too high right and we can go here we could say elif guess is lesser than secret number print your guess is too low, right? Um, then what we uh, want, so what I also said was that in case the six chances are over, it should break, right? You shouldn't like keep getting more chances. So what I'm gonna say over here is else, else break, all right? Um, so now we go outside the for loop, of course, um, and um, what we're going to do is we're going to type in the final part. So we say that if the guess is equal to equal to secret number, print, um, we're going to say print. Good job, you guessed my number in. And then over here, because we want to say how many guesses, we're going to say plus, and then we would say guesses taken. Now, again, guesses taken is an integer value, right? And we can't really, we're not, we can't add a, an integer to a string value. So we're going to put that in brackets. 
in parentheses, and we're going to say str over here so that we convert that integer to a string. And then here we're going to say again plus, and then space and guesses. All right. And if in case, so let's say, um, so if they don't guess the secret number, um, in case they don't, so else, we're going to say print nope the number I was thinking of was and then here again we're gonna put um, secret number and here we're gonna put stir because we need to convert this one again to a string from an integer all right so this is basically what it is, right? So now let's run it to see how it works, all right? So let's just go ahead and save that to our desktop. Oops. Here it's meant to be um, random dot rand and we forgot to put that down. Sorry about that. Yeah, okay. So let's take a guess. Let's say six. My guess is too low. So I'd say like 15. My guess is too high. Um, we can say like 13. Again, too high. 10, too high. Say like eight. Yeah, there we go. So. I guessed it in four guesses. I took four guesses to guess eight. So it says you guessed my number in four guesses, right? Now let's try something where I don't guess it at all, right? So let's run this program again. Let's run this again. So let's say one, right? Too low. I'm just going to keep guessing one just to, you know, make sure that I don't really guess it right right so then at the end because I did not guess it in six guesses it says nope the number I was thinking of was 19 well that's basically how this random module works um, I hope you guys have some clarity and understanding about it now because we're probably going to use it in the future programs as well in the future videos so I hope you kind of got an idea of what that is this program works pretty well um, I would suggest uh, kind of like taking down this um, the code maybe you guys can take a screenshot or something um, it would be pretty useful so um, anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned plenty so I'll see you next time happy coding